tired of trying to find tutorials that'll just teach you how to shuffle goddamn cards? Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you three easy shuffles that'll make you look like a card guru, baby. I'm talking a god. Yeah. These shuffles include the Charlie Air Cut, the Ribbon Spread, and last but not least, the Tabled Riffle Shuffle. All the shuffles you'll need to look like a legitimate boss. I'm talking a boss. Now, before we dive into the tutorial, make sure that you smash like if you haven't already and subscribe. With all our powers combined, I could get to 1 million subscribers. It's happening, baby. Look at this, man. The number just continues to grow makes me happy. Also, if this is a series that you guys are interested in seeing more of, try and get this video to like 2,000 likes and then I'll make another How to Shuffle. I'll teach you some more advanced fancy cuts, all kinds of stuff. Just get it to 2,000 likes, I know you can do it. Anyway, without any further ado, let's take a look at the Charlie Air Cut. Now the Charlie Air Cut is this beautiful one-handed cut where the cards can just be snipped like a thing of beauty. Isn't it cool? It's just so nice. Now let's not waste any time. Go grab your deck of cards and let's break this thing down. All right, so in order to do the Charlier, you start off with holding the deck in the dealer's grip. That's three fingers along this edge here, one at the front, your thumb resting naturally along the other edge. From here, you're gonna bring the pinky around the back of the deck so that you can kind of like crab claw that sucker just like this, okay? So you can see it naturally here, and then I just kind of like use my fingers to lever the deck up. Now once you've got the deck levered up, you're gonna place your thumb on the top portion of the cards. You can see it's only contacting half. And now if I release the pressure with my index and my pinky, the rest of those cards that my thumb is not holding will simply fall into my hand. And this is the beginning of the cut. Now from here, I leave my pinky resting at the back so the cards don't slide back. And I just bring my pointer, I curl it under, touching this corner about where the indices is. And then I push. I just push all the way up until it gets to my thumb. And then I continue to push until that packet clears. And then what's gonna happen is I want, I like to bring it all the way like this. So I bring my, my finger out so it falls flat. And this is open like a book so I can get this nice snap. So all together, you bring the pinky around the back, lever the deck up, thumb contacts the top half, release the pressure so that that bottom packet can fall, pointer finger goes underneath, press, 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 even beyond, and then open it all up, and you get that crispy close. Now that truly is the secret sauce to the Charlie Air Cut. Super easy. In fact, I'm betting some of you can already do it after having just watched that video. Now it's time to take a look at the ribbon spread. The ribbon spread is an excellent way to fan the deck out to show your spectator all of the cards. One of the coolest parts is, is that you can actually do some really tricky stuff with the ribbon spread that just looks amazing. I mean, like, look at this. You can take the spread, you can move it along with your finger, even split it in the middle, and it still stays nice and neat for pickup. You can even use a single playing card to move it all along, and I'm going to teach you all of it right now. You're gonna pick the deck up in this grip here with your pointer free. So the thumb at the back and I've got these three fingers at the front, yeah? Now this finger here is going to rest along the edge of the deck just like this. Now as I push the cards along, what's gonna happen is that this pointer is going to slowly kind of naturally release as the cards come out from underneath it and I'm dragging the deck along. Now this will take a little bit of practice to get smooth, but once you fully understand it, you kind of just let the knuckle on this finger fully relax as the cards are going to sort of naturally push it out of the way as you drag them along the table. Now it's also important the table surface that you try to do this on because if you do it on like a hardwood surface, they won't spread. Things like carpet or a nice like a uh, mouse pad type of thing, you know, something with a little bit of like natural grip to it is the best way to practice it. So with the deck in this grip, you place it on the table and you can see my finger here, it'll slowly, you can see it's naturally kind of moving up as the cards slide along until eventually it's completely flat. So as I drag it along, you can see that finger flattening out until eventually we have this nice little spread. Get a load of that. This is kind of the distance that you want the cards to be when you do the spread. Once you get that down and you can drag the cards along, you can do it in a straight line like this, or you can add a slight curve to it like this, which in my opinion looks nicer. But you want to make sure that the cards have like a nice even gap throughout the entire deck. That way, if you pick up a card from here, I can slide it under the card over here like this, and then I just sort of like lever it 
I'm gonna lever it like this until it makes contact with my finger. And then I can just kind of like move this along. If you've got a nice even spread, you shouldn't have to worry about this at all. You can literally just move this around. And then when you get to the end, try to get your fingers underneath so they all fall on top of it. And then you can scoop everything up in a smooth motion. And that is friggin' sick. Now for the other fancy moves, when you do the spread like this, you pick up the card here and you move it along like that. Now this is the easiest way to do it. If you wanna split, you're just gonna grab it where the two cards converse, right? Where they're meeting at the point and just kind of like split them like this. There's really no tricky thing to it. If you can do the ribbon spread, you can do this part of it as well. If you wanna use a card, it's the exact same thing. What you're gonna do is you grab the card, lift this up, you use your thumb or pointer finger to take over, and then you just place the card on top. And now it's the exact same situation. Literally nothing changes, only you're using a card to move these all around. And that right there is the ribbon spread, baby. Now I guarantee you, you whip this out at the poker table, no one's gonna let you deal no more, but they will think that you are cool. <laughs> Just like me, I think you're cool, buddy. And now it's time to learn the tabled riffle shuffle. Now the table riffle shuffle is an extremely practical move. You can simply shuffle the cards and push them together like this. You can add a bit more pizzazz to them by shuffling the cards and then adding the fancy bridge at the end. Or you can take the ribbon spread you learned earlier to spread these cards out and then push them together visibly like this. All are cool and all will be taught right now. To begin the tabled riffle shuffle, you're just gonna reach over with these two fingers like so. Okay, my two middle fingers, <laughs> the birds of education. And your thumbs, and you're just going to reach over. One is gonna contact the bottom half, one will contact the top half, and you just pull apart like this so that you have two roughly even packs. Now let's just take a look at what happens with one hand first. Now what's gonna happen is that this hand is going to grip it in the same way again, but you're gonna put your pointer right here on the top and the thumb is just going to do this at the back, you see? So I just pull them up like this. Now this is the same on both sides. You're gonna grip it, place your pointers on the corners right here, pushing down, and then just with your thumbs, you're just doing this. Now to get them to shuffle together, what you want to do is you bring, I like to use this finger here as like a sort of guide at the back end. So I place that at the back, at the front, and then pointer on the top. And I just bring them together until the corners are in contact. Now I bring them up to riffle and I bring them just slightly closer again so that when they fall, they fall into each other as I riffle my thumbs along the back. Now the best way to practice this is slowly so that you can get a feel for it. But as you practice, you'll be able to obviously speed that up and go straight into riffling the cards together. From here, you just push them together and you have completed the riffle shuffle. Now for such a nice move, it's super easy to learn, but the hard part comes now, and that's going to be doing the bridge. Now to do the bridge portion, you just do the riffle shuffle so that they come together, push them about like a, an inch or like, you know, three quarters of an inch together so that they're interweaved you know, a little bit like this. Now while they're on the table, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna place my my karate chop here, okay, with the palm on this edge here, and my thumb just goes on the top, on the top of the cards where they've joined. And then on this side here, I'm gonna dig my fingers underneath so that I can curl them up aggressively. And my thumb is, is there so that the cards don't just do this, right? Because that would ruin the shuffle. So we riffle them together, push them about three quarters of an inch, palm here, thumb here, grab this side here and just sort of aggressively curl them up using your thumb to hold them together. I curl them up and push them into that hand and then when I want them to bridge I'm just going to open these fingers but I'm going to keep this hand there so that they're bridged in there. You'll see what I mean. Look, I curl it up, I open my fingers and they all just kind of bridge. Now the thing is doing this slowly is much harder than doing it quickly. So thumb goes here, bridge, and release, and then they'll all come together. I then just get these two fingers corner to corner, and I just go along the edges to neaten everything up. And that right there is how you become a master of the card shuffling arts. Now guys, 2,000 likes, baby, that's all it takes. And next week, I'm gonna teach you some even better shuffles, things that you'll be using from here until the end of time. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative. And now for the real ones that are still here, I'm going to Japan next week, and I have a plan. I plan to film every single day for around about 20 days. I have a challenge that I wanna do. It's a different type of challenge and it's gonna be like a legitimate journey. Like I plan to go all out on the editing and make this thing like a real. Anyway, the point is it's gonna be like a, a 20 days in a row series with a challenge. And then if I fail, 
there's actually a huge penalty. So I hope you guys are excited and I hope you tune in for that. Anyway, take care. Call me Bucky, lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh.